Hey guys, Nick here, Pan Off The Grey, doing another Halo 4 video for the Skazam. Uh, Going to be playing Big Team again on Ragnarok, spawning in as Red Team, and this gameplay is 45-0 and 0, I think. Uh, I think it does say at the end 41-0 and 0, or 42-0 or something, but that's just uh, vehicle kills that make up the other three. A little bit laggy at the start there, not sure why, I think it may have been a software issue, but pretty sure it's the only time it happens in the game. So basically in this gameplay I just want to talk about... Um, just a few like strategy based things, a few tips and things, just sort of becoming a better Halo player I suppose. Uh, so straight off, Ragnarok, uh, when I do play with the team, kind of like my role I suppose is to go up and grab the laser straight away. Mainly because as you can see it's it's an important power weapon at the start because you can take out the uh, enemy power vehicles with it, like the Mantis and the Banshee, which takes away air control for them and obviously the Mantis, which is a really powerful um, support unit. So, once they are taken out, that gives obviously free reign to your Banshee in the sky. Unfortunately, our one kind of sacrificed himself to make sure that the enemy Mantis got taken out. Uh, those who don't know, best way to take out a Mantis is to laser it once after its shields are down. If you do laser it on full shields, that will just take out its shields. And if you do keep lasering it on shields, I think it takes three laser shots to kill it completely. I'm not totally sure on that, because usually I just wait for the shields to get taken out. Either DMR them out, or um, have someone snipe it. Yeah, take it out. So, once you have taken out the enemy Mantis, obviously your Mantis is free to come up onto the hill. And... It is a really, really good support unit on the hill, which is really crucial in Ragnarok, because controlling the hill is um, pretty much how you win games on Ragnarok. The hill's kind of like this middle territory between the two bases, and, well, it's a hill, so you have to run up to it to get to it, and if you've got enemy, the enemy on the top of the hill, then they shoot down at you, and you're not going to get up. So I'm not sure how much experience you've had playing on Ragnarok, or whether you have actually versed an organised team, and seen how they do control the hill. But if you have, then you'll know that it is very hard to take it back once they do have it. Especially if they take the laser at the start, and cut out all your vehicle support. Uh, another two really important spots on this map, sort of strategy-wise, is the Pelican. Because that gives lines of sight straight across the obviously the man cannon jump and into their trees, just um, up to the right side of their base. If you're kind of looking from their perspective, uh, and obviously where the man turret is on Riverside, because that lets you look over to where their shotgun cave is. I call it shotgun cave um, because I played a lot of Halo Three and that was where the shotgun was always spawned. So. I do use a few sort of Halo 3, Halo 3 map references. Um, Ragnarok is a Halo 3 uh, map remade, it used to be called Valhalla. Uh, so right now I'm going to camp for a little bit, waiting for the sniper. I expected it to show up then, because that's the time that it should show up, if it gets taken straight off the start. Obviously whoever took it from my team took it late, so I'm going to be waiting a little bit. I uh, dump out the ordnance so I can start working on my next one. Um, I'm not going to actually grab the speed boost because I don't really need it at the moment. I'm not playing that sort of playstyle. Um, so just quickly back to um, controlling the hill. Obviously we're not controlling it anymore, but this game, our opponents, they're not great. They don't have um, any real organisation within them at all. They spend a lot of time um, trying to rush the sides. They very rarely come up onto the hill. In fact, I think this is the only time in the game that they do actually control the hill. But when you do have the hill and the man turret and the pelican, then you essentially create this kill box sort of in between them where the enemy can't get out, basically. You know, they jump off their man cannon, they're going to get shot from three sides, and, you know, they're not going to go anywhere. Um, they can't run out, their vehicles aren't going to get very far, because if you're in those positions, then chances are you're going to be, you know, going pretty positive, and you should be getting ordnance, and that ordnance, especially if you have the laser at the start, you can take out vehicles for quite a while. See, I've still got it, I've still got a shot left in it. I think I've only wasted one shot with it, I'm pretty sure, 
which was on that mongoose at the start, and about to waste a second one here and just miss the mantis. A little bit laggy there. Um, but yeah, especially if you're running um, ammo like I am for my support package, then you get uh, six shots with the laser, which is really good. And lets you pretty much have control over their mantis and banshee for the whole game if you only use the laser on that. And that is usually what I would do because I don't usually play with the sniper on Ragnarok. That'll be um, my friend Historic BR who has his own YouTube channel, and I'll um, chuck the link in the description for that if you want to check him out. He's got some pretty sick vids on there. But he'll usually take Sniper and be our Sniper for the game. Um, I'll stick up top with Laser and sort of our other main third guy, Papadakis, Simon, is... He'll either come up on hill and just sort of straight DMR and then use whatever ordinance he gets or he'll jump in the Mantis or Banshee and um, use those to help control the game. So right now I could really move up onto hill but I am picking off a few little kills here and there. Um, let's see what to talk about. I'll talk about my loadout. Um, I am probably going to do a separate video on this where I actually go into more detail on it. But in this game I'm running uh, DMR as my primary. Uh, mostly because I feel, especially in big team, because you've got a lot of long range sort of battles, um, the DMR tends to outclass the BR and the light rifle. Well, that's just what I've found. So that's what I use. Secondary I'm running bolt shot, which usually I'd use sort of for when you do get into the close quarters engagements, because you know it's sort of like a shotgun, one shot kill, if you get them the right timing and things, right distance. But I don't use it this game because obviously I've been using the laser and now the sniper. Uh, the main reason why I'm not pushing up onto the hill at the moment is because I don't have a primary as such. I have the sniper but no DMR or anything and I'm trying to be conservative with my deaths and obviously I'm going for a big spree and don't want to lose that through um, you know just getting rushed and out DMR'd or something so I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit but I will push up later when um, I scavenger DMR uh, back to the loadout so I run frag grenades on this class as my um, this loadout rather is my grenade and I run requisition as my tactical package which lets you swap out your ordnance so that's that top option there on the ordnance thing I'm gonna grab the sniper here which usually I wouldn't do I would have just kept the ordnance sort of in case like you die you know and say I died with a sniper with 12 shots in it um, it's a shame and for some reason I don't know why I've done a lot of research into this but for some reason in Halo 4 your weapons don't stay where you drop them for very long, they tend to disappear really quickly, sometimes you know, instantaneously, like I've spawned pretty close to where I've died and run over and nothing's there, no one's picked it up or anything, it's just gone. So if you sort of think about it like that, um, you've died, you've lost your power weapon, and you know, obviously it's not great, maybe you get it back, you probably won't, but if you do keep that ordinance there, then at least you've got that kind of, you know, just another automatic secondary but I decided um, at that moment that considering how much we were um, I suppose controlling the game and they weren't really I think they put me on no shields like three times in this entire game so I wasn't really too concerned about them putting too much pressure on me so I just shot the sniper down started working on my next ordinance which will pay off for me um, so Yep, that's the loadout. DMR, bolt shot, frag grenade. Oh, uh, for my armor ability, I'm running active camo, obviously, which is important on Ragnarok because it tends to be a heavy like, sniper focus map and also DMR because it's quite open. There's not a lot of places. Um, well, it's, it's not like a room. There's not rooms and things that you run through. It's very open. So there's really long range lines beside and stuff. And if you're not running active camo and you're sniping, Especially if you're up here on the top, then chances are you're going to get sniped by someone who is active camo and you can't see. You think about it, you got the UNSC sniper that spawns in their base, plus you got random binary spawns and then just ordnance drops. So I like to run active camo on most of my classes, especially for big team, just because, you know, they tend to be quite long range open maps, so personally I think it's best. 
Uh, so yep, that's the loadout, active camo, and then requisition and ammo. I run ammo as my support upgrade, uh, yeah, as my support upgrade because not so much for secondary, well, for like power weapons like this. I'm not too fussed on if I get less than hyper ammo or whatever because you tend to cycle through ordnance pretty quickly once you get a power weapon. It's more for um, primary weapon like DMR and stuff because especially in big games like this where there's a lot of people and you're shooting a lot and you know you're not necessarily going to be getting a lot of kills you tend to run out of ammo for things like um, some, for things like DMRs and stuff though um see right there um, I shut down the overshield earlier thankfully nobody took it and it sort of paid off as a little escape plan there away from the Mantis but yeah if you run ammo with a DMR then you get a lot more shots for it and because there's no like placed DMRs on the map or anything and there's no like spawn spawning of them at all um, getting more ammo for them you are you pretty much just have to scavenge them off dead bodies and that can sometimes be brisky especially if you're going for a big kill streak so yeah that's why I run ammo for that and in big team you're not going to be coming up you're not really coming up with coming up against as much close quarters engagements especially on maps like this so support packages like dexterity which are really good for you know smaller game types like I suppose you know objective base king of the hill infinity slayer and things we have a lot more close quarters you know it's good for that but it's not as crucial for big team uh, I push up onto the hill now because I want to try to get the um, unfrig and I will get it eventually. So yeah, um, I would like to do, and I think I will, some more videos um, on like Ragnarok and Exile just talking about sort of our basic strats, like for what we do. I mean, you can have strats, you know, even if you've only got um, you know, two or three people. And, you know, it can work really well. But obviously I'll need to do that when I'm actually playing with um, a couple of people that I'm communicating with and I can tell you what we're doing and why we're doing it. Just looking to doing that. Uh, I start to panic a little bit at the end there because we're only a few kills to go and I want to try to get it. So I start missing a few shots. But, get it in the end. And, yeah, this will end up 45-0, I think. And get the last kill there. All done. Uh, thanks for watching. Sort of slowly getting the hang of this commentating thing, I think. Uh, if you do have any comments or anything, please leave them. It all helps. Um, like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's all great. And um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.